what's up you guys after to reaction and today i'm going to be reacting to some more gotham knights this is season one episode five i was supposed to react to this last week but i don't know it just got very hectic last week and here i am today there's no like uh gotham knights episode this week anyway so we're all good <laughs> i'm not falling behind uh let's go over the comments from last week's or the week prior episode um, yes, I was nitpicking, but it was for legit reasons, or just to poke fun of. Uh, do I care that Legacy's got cancelled so this show could use its set? No, I don't. Legacy's kind of sucked after a short while. And I can't judge this show yet. I've only seen three episodes, four by the end of this. Uh, you asked, I answer, a belfry is a part of a clock tower where bells are housed. Uh, I put this... From a comment on 102, a district attorney investigator carries out investigations under the jurisdiction of the district attorney's office. District attorney investigators investigate felony and misdemeanor offenses. Also known as the county detective in some states. I believe Harvey might be a district attorney investigator on this show. Or perhaps just being a DA is boring and the creator's... Have him do more than just sit at a desk. Uh, that seems to be the case. Uh, <laughs> besides a CW show, they take creative liberties. Also, not the first time shows deviate a bit from the established canon. And given he's not Two-Face yet, I don't think that's far-fetched. Nor is it is the difference too extreme to believe. I just think that if you're given... A specific job you should be doing that job I don't know uh, you asked where they were hiding during this episode as explained during the pilot the belfry is they hide is hide in is connected to the school the belfry was a secret place that only Turner and Stephanie knew about I think um, during the night they've basically got free access to the entire school hence why they were able to get hold of the teachers birthday cake in the beginning of the episode right why they were able to clean themselves up using the gym showers, most likely, and why there's a library uh, for them to research stuff, uh, which probably has a lot of books about magic and stuff. Hold up, check the basement. There might be a blood-deprived witch down there. Uh, yep, yeah, I don't even need to look this up. Turner and Harper just clearly broke into the Salvatore headmaster's office. Placement of the door, window, and shelf are identical. See, I knew I was onto something. Uh, sus fruits, but according to the comics, Harvey Dent was diagnosed with dissociative identity disorder at a young age and kept it hidden thanks to his underlying work ethic. So, if they are going that route, they're using the comics as reference. Besides, Two-Face, need I say more? To not use this trope would be to ignore pre-established canon, something people have been complaining about since they saw the trailer. Well, I've got two things to say to you. One is, like, it's fine. Like, I'm just sick of seeing the trope used on TV for every fucking thing ever. Like, it's, it's not even, like... I'm, I'm glad that they're, they're following correct canon, but like, I just, it's just a trope that I'm sick of. Um, and two, you know what? They fucking changed so many things, like, just saying. It's not that far-fetched that they would just like, if they did change something else, I don't know. Um, whatever, I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, Butler Lady could have kept this good guy ruse going a lot longer. You were right to nitpick their fruits. Butler Lady was being stupid, and so were the court for that matter. They could have gotten Turner and his friends if they just kept the lie going for a bit longer. I think it just missed the mark entirely. Um, anyways, on to the episode. You're short. Business and you're tall. Slow. You know how it is. <laughs> we just need a little bit more time, please. I would. I would. Only the boss don't accept IOUs. Oh, oh no, no, no. Please, please <laughs> don't. This place is all we've got. Not anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
quick, go find the extinguisher. I'm sure you've got one. Oh good, you're awake. Barely. You're 15. Since when do you need to drink coffee? Since sleeping in on a Saturday became a crime and the punishment is SAT prep class. You grown now, but you'll thank me later. You know what I always say. If you stay ready, you, you don't, don't have, have to, to get, get ready. ready. Yeah, I know. Why are your shoes so dirty? I volunteered to help the agriculture club. Well, just make sure you don't track your volunteering all over the house. You want to do takeout tonight? That way you'll have leftovers tomorrow when I'm on shift. I thought you were coming to my school tomorrow. We have that parents' Sunday oh, luncheon. Shoot, that's right. I'll, I'll see if I can get a shift change. No, it's okay. It'll be the same dog and pony show as last year. It's important that I show up to these things. I right, miss one event and that becomes my label. The mother who never shows up for her daughter. Your label will always be badass mom who saves lives on the regular, in my book. Yeah, I'm working on a shorter label. Tell me you found an explanation for how a century-old, supposedly dead serial killer left fresh fingerprints on Eunice Monroe's music box? He's a vampire? Vampires aren't real. Well, neither was Killer Croc until he crawled out of a storm drain, so... Break out the garlic in the holy water. That fingerprint has to be a fluke. It's literally impossible for Felix Herman to be the Talon. Okay, but even if he is, we dropped the whole bat cave on his ass. Is it too much to hope that we don't need to worry about him anymore? I don't know. If he really is 130 years old and still in fighting shape. I mean, the Lazarus Pit exists. Survive. Yeah, the bad boys from beyond the grave, not my wheelhouse, but I did dig up a lead we can follow. Cressida's finances. Harvey, I'm sorry to show up unannounced like this. What can I do for you, Mrs. March? I know my husband came to see you a few days ago. Was it about us? That was years ago, Rebecca. There is no us for Lincoln to ask about. You know, that's not what... We discussed the need to step up security after what happened to Mayor Hill. That's all. But I think it's best for you and I to keep our distance. Neither campaign needs the mess. Mess? Yeah, that shit's gonna come out. You sure know how to give a girl perspective. Can we just be pleasant for the press and otherwise stay away? Give Lincoln my best. You tell him. Apparently, I was never here. This is GNS Holdings and Acquisitions? Apparently so. Oh, boy. What? You know this place? Unfortunately. How do you know it's them? I, uh, kinda dated one. You what? Well, this just got juicy. So, what did you guys find? Why don't you ask Harper? Because she seems to know a lot about what we saw. It's a McKillen shipping yard. I know because I dated one. There, now you're caught up. I remember <laughs> Dylan mentioning they laundered money for some pretty bad people. Oh, and that wasn't a red flag for you? Wait, wait, I'm sorry. His name is Dylan McKillen. The point is only the boss actually knew who they were laundering money for. Whoever it was, they were that dangerous. The Court of Owls? That could explain how the McKillens have stayed untouchable for so many years. Probably getting protection from the court in exchange for laundering their cash. With that much money being funneled through so many shell companies, the McKillens have to have some system to keep track of it all. Records like that could directly prove the court is real and involved with the biggest crime ring in Gotham. We take down the court and the McKillens. I can hack them. See if I get a hold of those records. Do you really think an organized crime ring would be dumb enough to keep digital records? For security, it's probably a hard copy. Well, okay, so what? What, we just walk up to the McKillens and we say, one criminal ledger, please? No, we're gonna rob the mob. Rob the mob. Since when are we letting Duella come up with all the plans? Actually, this one's all Turner. <laughs> Congrats, Turner. You're officially crazier than the crazy one. It's not crazy. Fine, reckless. The upside of this could be huge. Take down the McKillens and take down the court. I mean, the McKillens leech off the poorest people in the city. They target the narrows the most, right? Yeah, thanks for the guilt. What Turner is trying to say is that if we find the ledger, we could follow the flow of money to understand what the court is up to. Maybe even find proof to clear our names. We could go today if we didn't have that stupid parents' luncheon thing. I have to give a speech. It's a whole deal. Actually, my mom has a shift, so she wouldn't really know if I did. So you're She wrong. said she was coming. Storming a mob stronghold in broad daylight? What could go wrong? I've got a possible suspect in a case who woke up in possession of a piece of evidence, one that could possibly tie him to the crime. Except he doesn't remember how it got there. Says he's been experiencing missing time and possibly doing things that he doesn't remember. Do you believe him? I do. I, I, I don't think that he would have any reason to lie. People don't always need a reason, Harvey. This guy's telling the truth, or at least he thinks he is. I'm wondering if he could be suffering from something like identity dysmorphia. Like the kind your father suffered from? 
Harvey, we've known each other for a long time. I can't help you unless you're being completely honest with me. What do you mean? Are we really talking about a suspect? Am I really that bad of a liar? So his dad, so it's like hereditary so, here? This freight yard is McKillen HQ, and this charming concrete depot is where they do their money stuff. They have pretty heavy security surrounding it at all times. So how were you in there before? Dylan and I hung out there. That's code for getting back. Thank you. We know. Still doesn't explain. Dylan had a key. He's kind of the boss's son. Oh, okay, that's hot. Great, because it's not enough you dated a mobster. It had to be the riskiest one possible. Doesn't change the fact that we still need to get into the place. So, if anyone has anything else to add that is not about my relationship with Dylan, please. Speak now. You're gonna have to explore Well, the trucks that, are probably. constantly going in and out through the yard every day. Then maybe we can hitch a ride. Copy that. Okay. Are you kidding me? He could have radioed the other guards. And now he's sleeping on the job. Can we just hurry and get the door open? Maybe take his radio off of him and tie him up or something? Freak. Frequency finder. Trying to find the right frequency to open the bay door. Outside's clear. Just gonna make sure we're alone in here. Bingo. So we got what we came here for. Let's get out of here. All right, where's Duella? Over here. We found what did you face. find? <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> I'm rich. It's not yours. My God, you're right, little bird. I'm so sorry. We. Oui. Are rich. No, Duella, this is like dirty money. This has been taken from innocent people, small businesses in the neighborhood. Right, e exactly. So why should we let the McKillens keep it? <laughs> we don't have time to debate this. 16 rows across, all stacks of hundreds. There's got to be at least 30 million dollars. The McKillen protection racket is good, but not this good. What does that mean? This has to be court money that the McKillens are laundering for them. Okay, so it's clean, dirty money. Still not a reason to take it. Not, not a reason to take it. Thank you. See, guys, come on. Come on, we gotta hit him where it hurts the most. Yeah, I'd take Their it. pockets. <laughs> we can't leave it here, so what do we do with it? Better question is... What am I gonna do about you? Harper? Dylan! How was church? Good he looks way everyone. too old for you. On behalf of the student body, I'd like to welcome you to the Gotham Academy Annual Parents Luncheon. For over a century, the Academy has shaped the minds and careers of Gotham's most prominent citizens. And our city's next generation of leaders is. Um, and our city's next generation of leaders is right here on this very campus. What is the more likely scenario? That you have a homicidal alter ego who assassinated the mayor in the most Byzantine manner possible, yet neglected to remove the one piece of evidence tying you to the murder, or that the car keys of a man that you work with closely on a daily basis accidentally got mixed up with your own? Sure, right. If you put it that way. Harvey, I think what you're really afraid of Bending is becoming really your father. Bending it really a lot. <laughs> the man brutalized you for years. And then he would have no memory of it. He made you doubt your own sanity, just like you're doing now. Yeah, but now I have good reason to. This is not normal, Chase. Who knows what could be happening? What I could be doing during these gaps in my memories? <sighs> Who I could be? What do you mean by that? Look at my father. One minute, the man was an abusive monster. He would beat me if I missed a few notes at piano or if I spilled soda on my shirt or sometimes just for no reason at all. And then, just like that, he would snap right back to this perfect dad who was warm and loving and caring even. Like, And he would look around like, what happened? Who tore up your sheet music? Why are you crying, Harvey? And how'd you get that bruise on your face? And he would just rush over make sure I was okay, and I knew that he loved me, and I loved him. But that monster, that was just as real. 
just because you are experiencing memory loss does not mean you inherited your father's disorder. In fact, it is highly unlikely. A disorder like his typically manifests at a much earlier age. You'd know by now if you had it. It's also what not the hell an, is happening to me? It's, it's also not like Our bodies are very smart. inherited. <laughs> times when you're overwhelmed, your brain senses the threat and it shuts down that part of itself to protect you. It's a trauma response. It's really nothing. You, nothing you're concerned about here. I think your anxiety is off the charts. I'm going to write you a prescription to help you manage it. I am going to write a check. This is very bizarre. For a campaign donation. Like, our therapists can't write prescriptions. Been an Only doctors can. And thank you again for coming and for your continued support. Excuse me. Great speech. Do you know my daughter, Carrie Kelly? I can't seem to find her anywhere. Dr. Kelly. Yes. Carrie is uh, around here somewhere. Um, and if I see her, I will send her your way. Good news, boys. We just caught Bruce Wayne's killers. We're my house, too. But Dylan, please, you can't turn us in. It's nothing personal. Oh, wait, it is. <laughs> Thank you. I just couldn't listen to this guy anymore. And it sounds like we're about to get company. Hey, Dylan, open up. Okay, I just get the door's frequency. Better lock down any other entry points. Make sure they can't get in. And, and now we can't get out. Hey, come on. Open up! What the hell were you thinking? Can we please talk about this? When we're I feel like I can see windows, but I don't know. Okay, it was one time over a year ago. Trust me, just let it go. Harper, you lied to me. We swore we'd always be honest with each other because no one else was. And I am, I swear. But we needed the money, and I knew you wouldn't be on board, so better to ask for forgiveness than permission. You never asked, asked me for either. I'm just finding out about this now. What else are you not telling me? I mean, Helen. you just decided to take this insane risk by yourself, and you were so caught up with me going into the GCBD saying it was dangerous and all that. How the hell is this anything different? Cullen, you don't understand. What did you possibly think was worth getting mixed up with the mob? You, Cullen. What the hell are you talking about? I did it for you. I took the job to pay for your top surgery. You told me you stole that money from Dad. Like he ever had any money left after the booze and the horses. I let you believe it was from him because I knew you'd react this way if you knew the truth. Surprised I'm not in jail. <laughs> Excuse us. Oh. Okay, Mom, I think it's time to go home. Hey, I just met your friends. They are so nice, especially that Brody. I don't want to hang on to that boy. There's people I don't even have friends. that Turner kid who had his own father killed. You looking for pointers to use on me? <laughs> don't tempt me. <laughs> I'm going to call you a cab. Please. You know, you couldn't be bothered to bring me anything better than a club soda, so I'm just fine to drive. Thank you. Please. You are not. No. Destroying evidence. Well. Not really, but whatever. Hiding evidence? I don't know. Hello? Hello? Piano music you were mentioned, maybe? Yeah, there's clearly okay. windows. Okay, so did things just get better or worse? The McKellens have cops on their payroll. Nobody's trying to go through those windows? Trust me, Nobody? things definitely just got worse. It won't be long before Gotham's finest come bursting through that door. Well, being reckless got us into this. We're gonna have to be reckless to get us out. You have a car behind you. Okay. This whole time. You've had your chance. Okay. Get ready, boys. Let's go. Okay. They're burning the money. I them now.
get out of the if there's a cop car coming I don't know that people would stop like that I don't know you did it, you did it. we go now to news out of the East End where a group of unknown vigilantes have littered the streets with millions of dollars worth of cash the money is believed to be the ill-gotten gains of alleged crime family the McKillens East Enders all know the McKillens have been holding the local business as hostage for decades. Just got worse after the dog Knight got killed. Seems to me Gotham got some new knights. While the identity of these so-called Gotham Knights remains unknown, after today's redistribution of wealth, Gotham is one step closer to ending the McKillens' reign of terror. And it seems we have a new generation of protectors to thank for it. We all just saw that, right? That happened. Yep. Oh, those people got our money. They think we did it out of the goodness of our hearts. They called us the Gotham Knights. I'll take that over Bruce Wayne's killers. What do you think's gonna happen when they realize their new heroes are also their most wanted fugitives? I, I had no idea just how much you've done for me. How much you've risked. I, I just want to say thank you. This is why I didn't tell you. I didn't want you blaming yourself for my choice. I could see how hard things were for you before the surgery. It was like, we got away from Dad, but you were still trapped. So getting you that money was a no-brainer. And I would do it again. Seriously, Harper, thank you. Well, I feel better when my brother is happy, so really, it was for me. <laughs> so, just like we thought, the McKillen's ledger shows tons of money being filtered through their operation. But it's just a bunch of numbers. It's a ledger, it's gonna have numbers. It's all numbers, not just the dollar amounts. The recipients, too. It's written in code. Then we have to find a way to crack it. Yeah, it's a complex cipher that's gonna be tough to break. Maybe not for someone who grew up solving puzzles with Mr. Quizball himself. Stephanie? Hmm, maybe the piano song is what triggers his missing time. Well, you've got my vote, but I have to warn you. Your opponent is on his way back to the city. He'll be home in an hour. What we choose to do with that hour. We, we can't do this again. <sighs> Which part? The one where you say we can't do this again, but when it suits your needs, you call and call and like an idiot, I answer. What are you talking about? I'm already in one bad relationship, Harvey. I don't need to. Well, then get out of it. Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel, and in return, you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats.
If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty, well that was Gotham Night Season 1 Episode 5. It was okay. Uh, there's nothing it, it truly exciting about this show, I feel. I feel like I'm just watching it for the sake of watching it. It's not bad, it's just very mediocre. Um, but it was cute though that, you know, Dwella was getting really excited about the money. That was cute. Other than that, eh. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys thought and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.